Hello my fellow crafters, welcome back to my channel. My name is David and today I'm going to be making a card and I'm going to use the fabulous collection that Annette Green designed for Elizabeth Craft Designs, uh, the Everyday Elements um, collection. Um, I've got this idea in my head. I think I start every video saying that. Hmm. Anyways, um, I was cleaning out my craft room after I uh, did a lot of demos and well, let me tell you, there was stuff everywhere. So I had to clean up and then I came across a big box of washi tapes. I'm pretty sure you recognize that. And then I thought, well, let's do something with that. So I've picked out some washi tapes and uh, well, let me switch camera so we can talk it through. And let me put on this one. There we go. Hello. Um, so I've got this beautiful washi tape. I just took the packaging off because I, I never used it before. And I've got these beautiful ones as well with gold and not with that. Um, so I'm going to use that. I've got my card base ready. I'm going to make a square card. I've got my birdies ready because I'm going to use the birds. I'm going to use this branch and I'm going to use... Uh, I don't know yet, Precious One maybe, or Daily Happiness, or whatever, we'll see, um, as a sentiment on there. So, but first things first, what I'm going to do, and you can use a scrap piece of paper, but I just, I'm just going for easy. I've got a piece of 200 grams cardstock here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rip up pieces of washi tape. Now, this is beautiful, white, wide, not white, wide washi tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear some strips and randomly place them onto my card. Beautiful soft color this. And I'm already in over gear like, oh, what else can I do with this? <laughs> because it's beautiful. That's why I bought it. Uh, well, something like this. Let's see where, where we are. Then I've got this one, it's also beautiful. I've used this before, but bear with me. Where's the start? There it is. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hard, right? Finding the beginning of washi tape. So I'm just gonna make a messy collage with these different colors of washi tape overlapping. Then I've got these. These are not so wide. I think I'm going to use this one and then we'll see. No rhyme or reason. I'm just putting some on there. I think this should be enough, but let me double check. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the two birds uh, from Annette's collection to cut these out. And I'm just placing them on there. Do you see? Yeah, that's enough. And what I'm also doing is I'm cutting out the feet and the beaks in black. I need to trim out the eyes and I'm going to trim out the branch that I think <laughs> they're going to be sitting on. This one. So what I'm going to do off camera is trim every, all the elements out and then I'll be back. Okay. I've cut all the elements out. First things first, what I did, because I didn't want to lose them, so I did that immediately, is color the pupils of the bird eyes black using an alcohol marker. And next I'm going to use an orange, brownish, I'm going to use a brownie, brownish orangey color to color in the beaks. So let me do that. I'm going to take the chisel tip, because that's nice and quick. these birds will have a bit of a vintagey look and this will well I didn't want a bright orange that's the point <laughs> so that's that now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to assemble the birds because I don't want to lose all these um, elements that I've got now um, and I know myself I know that will happen so these are going to go under there let me get some white so you can actually see what I'm doing, right? 
if my camera agrees with the white, but we'll find out. There we go. So I'm just going to put two tiny dots of glue here at the top. Not that tiny, but okay. And put this bird on its feet. There. Simple. And then you just gotta dip that into the glue. And it's quite easy because he's got the the thick thingies there. That's where you place the legs. So they're easy to assemble. It's just tiny small elements but very doable. I just amputated one leg and then I'm gonna put on the eyes. Did I already lose one? I nearly lost one. That's why I'm doing this now because all these little elements not me. Don't get me wrong though I like it but yeah just gonna put on a drop of that glue and drop the eye on there. Boop. Simple as that. Because that will give them some, well, realism. <laughs> How realistic is this? But yeah, it still makes it a bird. Having the feet, having the eyes, and having the beak. I lost a beak. Where's the other beak? There we go. So, are they the same? I don't know. We'll find out. No, one is going that way. Just put some glue behind. Line it up and press it down. And there's my little birdie. Cute, right? I'm not going to add all the other layers to it. I want this to be quite simplistic. But I do love how this turned out with the washi tape. The, all the different sorts of washi tapes. The shine. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So now I'm safe. I've got all the little elements and I did not lose anything. All glued down. So next I'm going to create my background and I'm going to use this Alter New Enchanting Vines uh, for it. This is going to be a backdrop. Um, so yeah, let's put that through. This is a 3D embossing folder. I'm just going to spritz the back rub that down a bit and put that into my folder like so. And here we have come on camera. Yeah. The finished result. Beautiful, beautifully embossed. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my ink pad. This is Breakup Blue. Love the names of Simon Hurley's ink. Um, and I'm just going to go over that embossing powder, uh, not powder, over that embossed paper. Just rubbing that, rubbing that on the top. So it takes all the high points of that folder. So this needs to dry a bit, so uh, I'm going to help that along and then I'm going to cut it to size. So this panel is now five and a half by five and a half um, inch. Does that fit beautifully? You see? Now I don't like this. No, I'm not going to do it like this. So I'm going to keep this for another background. Let me just quickly have a look um, at a different color. Got a clear white one again. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking um, cookie dough, which is a very light beige color. And I'm going to use that. See why that brings me. That is much, much better. So, cookie dough, it is. You see, this is beautiful. Yeah, ah, my browns. Blue and brown matched together, I should have known. 
there we go. Now, next I'm taking my, where's my freight burlap? Here's my freight burlap. And I'm just gonna see if this will work. I just want to darken up, yeah. Take off that, that edge. Makes a difference. So what I'm also doing, I'm edging my card panel. Just because I like the effect it gives. I'm bringing that ink in quite a bit. So it's not just etching, but I'm starting yeah, like this and just flick out. And that's how you get that effect. And this is also another trick. This is really darkening up that edge. If you just go like this, it's really intensifying that. Okay. Now look at this. This is much, much better, isn't it? Now, I've got my branch cut out. And I was just wondering. No, I think I'm going to do it differently. What I'm going to do, I've got another piece of the card here. I'm just going to pick out my sentiment and I want a long sentiment. Daily happiness, why not? Daily happiness. I'm gonna stamp that out in black. I'm gonna stamp that here at the bottom sort of want to center it. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this off. Let me start with that. And then I'm going to trim this to five and a half by five and a half. Now, now it is six, so it needs a quarter of an inch from this side and a quarter of an inch from the other side. That should make five and a half, right? We're thinking in inches because I, I'm, I'm so used to working in centimeters, but that's cool. Right, then I've got, is this enough? Yeah, a black of piece, scrap piece of paper. So this was five and a half. I'm gonna do five and a quarter by five and a quarter. No, what, what did I do? Did I just mess this up? No, I didn't. Five and three quarters it is, David. Five and three quarters. And five and three quarters. There's my matte layer. You see, makes the colors pop even more. And then I'm going to do another strip. Is this enough? Yeah. I think this should be it. Yes. Okay. Phew, that's all the measuring and thinking done. Now it's time to assemble the card, shall we? What I'm gonna, just gonna do, just to make it matchy-matchy, is I'm going to ink up the edge of my sentiment strip. There we go. 
So I'm just going to take out my glue. Now, why am I doing this with glue? Because it gives me some wiggle time because eh, otherwise it'll be a nightmare. I like that. This is cool. Okay, I'm going to do the same with this. Just putting on some glue. And I'm using glue because that will go into all the nooks and crannies and This is an embossed panel. It's a bit warped because I put some heat and moist to it, so... There we go. Okay. Now, this strip is going to go across here. Like that. And then my birdies are going to sit on top of that. Love that. I'm going to glue down my sentiment first. And then this one is going to sit over here and his tail is going to go over the These little feet are sitting on the edge of the sentiment strip. So I'm, next I'm putting on my acrylic block to give some pressure on that to make sure the glue sticks everything well down. And then I will stick it down to my card base. Make sure it opens in the right direction. Now I'm using the art glitter glue. The other one is the barely art glue. I like them both. Um, so, and I have to finish what I've got. So I'm just using them. Right side up, that might help David. And put it on my card. And it's beautiful, it's got a very small white border. You see? And here's the finished result. What a fun way to use your washi tapes. Um, I love it, the sparkle, um, the grungy look of the background. Um, yeah, these are fun. So. Uh, Use up your washi tapes, put them onto some scrap paper and uh, cut them out because it's fun. Um, yeah, at least I think it's fun. I think this turned out to be a beautiful card. Uh, it could be a card for a man or whatever. You do you. Anyways, this was the project for today. I hope you like it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't done so yet, please consider to subscribe to my channel. Um, that would really make my day. And uh, I'll see you for the next one, Thursday. I'm live, like every Thursday. That's the plan, at least. Thank you for watching this one, and I'd love to see you for the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.